Welcome to Algebra, the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b is the easiest linear function to learn and use. This lesson will demonstrate this with a few exercises to practice. Let's do this. The linear slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. The y and x are the two variables for the equation, and the variables m and b have special meanings. M is the slope of the line, and B is the y-intercept, where the line crosses or intercepts the y-axis, the actual point being 0B. In the graph shown here, the first task is to find the point where the line crosses the y-axis. This line crosses at 3, and so the value of B is 3. Now we locate a point along the line where it is easy to identify the point. We'll use the point 2, 4, since the line passes through that point. Counting the rise and the run, we see that the rise is 1 and the run is 2. And so the slope is 1 over 2. m equals 1 over 2. To write the equation, just substitute m and b with the values you just determined, and you have y equals 1 over 2x plus 3. You can see the result in Desmos for further proof. Let's practice on some exercises. Given the equation, identify the slope and y-intercept. For the equation y equals 2 over 3x minus 4, the coefficient of x, the number in front of x, 2 over 3, is the slope. m equals 2 over 3. And the number after the x, minus 4, is b. So b equals negative 4. For the equation y equals negative 1 over 3x plus 2, m is negative 1 over 3, b is 2. For the equation y equals 5x minus 6, m is 5, and b is negative 6. Given these m and b combinations, we write the equation simply by replacing m with the number given. So here, if m is negative 4 and b is 1, the equation is y equals negative 4x plus 1, and you can see the graph in Desmos. The line crosses through 1 and has a slope of negative 4 over 1. In this next example, m is negative 1 over 2, b is 3, and so the line passes through the point 3 on the y-axis and goes down 1 and over 2 with the slope of negative 1 over 2. y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 3. m equals negative 3 over 4 and b equals negative 2 produces the equation y equals negative 3 over 4x minus 2. And you can see the graph as it passes through the point negative 2 on the y-axis and is going down 3 and over 4 each time. For the slope m equals 2 over 5 and b equals 4 as the y-intercept, the equation is y equals 2 over 5x plus 4. And you can see the graph in Desmos passing through the point 0, 4 and going up 2 and over 5 each time. Here we are to find the slope and y-intercept of the graph, then write the equation of the line. So we're given a line that's passing through a couple of points, and if we count between any of the two points, we can see the slope is up 1 and over 1, and so the slope is simply 1, and it passes through negative 2 on the y-axis. So the equation is simply y equals x minus 2. For the second one, it is going down 1 and over 2 each time, passes through 2 on the y-intercept, and so the equation is y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 2. For the slope on this one, it is going up 2 and over 3 each time it goes through a pair of points, and it passes through negative 1 on the y-axis. And so the equation is y equals 2 over 3x minus 1. Let's graph these lines based on these equations. y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 4, First we go to the 4, and then we count down 2 and over 3, and we draw the line through those two points. On this next one, we go to the negative 3, and we go up 1 and over 2, and we draw the line through those two points. On this third one, we put a point on 2 on the y-axis, and then we go down 3 and over 1 for the slope, and draw the line through those two points. <laughs> Thank you.